Now, Dr. McLaughlin couldn't rightly turn away a man of God like Jason Lee, but he could at least point him in the right direction. The first order of business, Dr. McLaughlin, is to establish a mission and begin to preach the gospel. Reverend Lee, have you found a site for your mission? I'm thinking of locating in the Flathead country. That's much too dangerous and isolated. Oh, what would you suggest? Well, to do the Indian any good, you have to establish yourself so that he can gather around you. Then I would teach them how to cultivate the land. And as you teach them farming, you can also teach them religion and the ways of the white man. Well, that would require a lot of land, would it not? Exactly. Now, you'd have that in the valley of the Wallamet. Now, if you should choose the valley, I could arrange to loan you eight oxen, eight cows and calves, and a bull to get you started. I want the scoundrel, McLaughlin. Where's McLaughlin? I'm sorry, but he's busy, sir. I want to see it right now. You can't come in here. He's busy. I'll get out of here. Just get out of here. What's the meaning of this? That's what I'd like to Silence! Say. What do you think you're doing? Who do you think you are barging in here like this? I am Ewing Young. I just came up here from California with nine men and a herd of horses, and I wonder what's going on around here. Mr. Young, would you mind explaining it out first? I'm an American citizen. You got no right to deny me and my men food and lodging, and to brand me an outlaw in this country. Mr. Young, let me make myself clear. I will not, under any circumstances, harbor a liar, thief, or any other corrupting individual in my community. I am accused. Were you not in California? I just said I was. I've received a letter from Governor Figueroa of California stating that you stole horses there and were driving them to Oregon. It's true that some men joined us around St. Joseph with about 50 head of horses, but whether they bought them or stole them, I don't know. Nor do I, Mr. Young. But under the circumstances, it will be inconvenient to accommodate you inside the fort. I've instructed my quartermaster to give you a few days' supplies, and then I suggest that you move on elsewhere. You can keep your blasted supplies. I don't want anything from you. I will tell you this. I'm innocent of those charges, and I don't care what you do. I'm not leaving. I hope you hear me, McLaughlin. I intend to stay. Thomas, I need you. Yes, sir. Take a letter. Yes, sir. To whom would you like it addressed? To Governor Figueroa of California. Ask him for confirmation about Young's horse stealing charges. Right, sir. Right away, sir. Explorers, traders, trappers, settlers, and now missionaries. Things were starting to get a mite crowded by the 1830s. <laughs> Especially for a country that didn't have no government. Except for McLaughlin and his British Fur Company. I guess I could say that Dr. John McLaughlin and you and Young didn't get off to a very good start. And things sort of went downhill from there. You are uh, having problems with McLaughlin? Are you this whole thief? Of course not. Made my living in the mountains like an honest man. And tend to settle here now, no matter what he says. Ah, uh, McLaughlin, he will find the truth. He helped me, but I have to walk 8,000 miles first. I'll tell you one thing, you made an enemy today you won't soon forget. You disgraced me, shame me in this country, I come to make my home. Oh, wait, but in time... Dr. In the mountains McLaughlin... a man would die for an accusation like that. Ah, we oui. the mountains. Louis Labonte loves his farm and family very much. But the mountains, when we were younger than today, huh? freezing to death in the winter, attacked by Indians, chased by bears, <laughs> beaten by bugs, oh, it was magnifique, no? And then in the springtime, when the snow would melt, we would all get together for a rendezvous with plenty of uh, drinking and fighting and drinking and, and dancing and, and drinking and trading and drinking and singing and, and drinking and eating and <laughs> more drinking until everyone was very happy. <laughs> that is what you need, you and Young. You need a rendezvous. It will cheer you up. We, that is what we all need. A rendezvous! <laughs> <laughs> Want it in you or on you? What was you saying? I had four! <laughs>
<laughs> this is good, pure mountain water. <laughs> Let me just uh, let me take a sample. Make sure it's all right for the rest of you. <laughs> It will wash the taste of McLaughlin from your mouth, huh? There's an idea. I said something from me, you know? I tell you, I was very hungry and thirsty when I made my trip back to Montreal for my discharge. One time, I got so hungry, I ate my chapeau, huh? You did? Eat chapeau? Oui. Avec ma chouchou, on le court. Oui, boost. Oui. And then, for dessert, I have the antel, huh? I stick my hand deep inside and I come under. Oh, it was very good. You can think of something better, perhaps? Oh, a kamaka. Oh, a kamaka. What the? Oh, a kamaka. You try. This is not so bad. Uh, what do what do the white men call this? I think they call smoked slut. <laughs> place at Fort Vancouver. Thomas, see that no more liquor is sold to any of these men until you have further orders from me. Right, sir. Gladly, sir. Louis, I think you have a family to take care of down in the valley as soon as you pick up the supplies that you came for. Wait, oui, monsieur. All of you men know you're to have nothing to do with Mr. Young until and if he is clear to the charges against him. And Mr. Young, I trust that this is the last that we will see of you for a long time. You take a great deal upon yourself, sir. Don't forget who you're dealing with. Now on your way. All of you, you'll be feeling a thrashing from this pain. Hey, Louis. Oui. What's he mean about the liquor? Little he controls all the drinking around here. Oh, he does, does he? Oui. Yeah, I just might be able to cook up a little surprise for the good doctor. Uh, the good doctor, he's not such a bad man. Uh, he helped me, but first I have to walk 8,000 miles. I walk yeah, yeah, I know, Louis. Thanks for the idea. Idea? It takes all kinds of people to make a country. Some good, some bad. Most, somewhere in between. Some have to make a quick buck. Others out to find a new land. Some like Louis, just looking for a new home. <laughs>